Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, Miss. Hi, how was your day? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How was your day? Very busy. Busy. What you were doing? I don't know how to say descuentos. Discounts. Discounts. Uh -huh. uh, discounts. Billions. And billions projection. Okay. And where do you work? Uh, in Connecta. Ah, okay. I I thought you only deal with with a kind of supervision or something like that. Yes, it's, it's something oh, like that. you are like like human resources then. Mm, no, the uh, department, the name is uh, Workforce Management. Okay, and, and you we... decide, you decide, uh, mm. you, you have to put the, the number of hours working by person. Yes, I have and, to put that. And mm. if they, if they uh, have any problem to discount yes you made the payroll yes okay good and you also subtract the the renta and the is and the no I no that part is is just for rrhh and uh, in my case i i don't touch anything of that Okay, Just, then uh, you only discount. say you only say uh, he will earn he will earn this and the others made the, the other discounts. Exactly. Okay, good. And you check the payroll after they they do the final thing or just pass no. the information? I I had to to so meet with my with the with the manager the account manager account, okay. and he said everything is okay or we have to check it again. Depends yes. on, on the month. Yes, and how much is the the roof for the east nowadays? Um, sorry, can you repeat? How much is the roof, el techo, for the is nowadays? No, no, no. Uh, the is doesn't have a, a roof. Is yes. a, a percentage. Yes. It, 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 when, when when I when I check the payrolls, uh, 
the roof was 300 and something. The, the, the minimum salary, it was the roof. So if you, if you earn uh, $1,000, they only discount for three hundred and fifty. Just a minimum salary. Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't know that. It it was the roof, so mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if if it is still has a roof, or how much is the roof. But I ask your accountant because uh, they don't discount as as your salary. But as uh, if you earn less, they discount less. But okay. if you earn learn, earn more, they only discount uh, three hundred fifty. Mm. Yes, I, I didn't know that. Uh, I think is. I I always the... said that that it was not uh, good because uh, the other people that earns more money should pay more because uh, they, they can help the others that earn less in order for us to have a better uh, um, better medicines and better uh, equipment at the hospital. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if they already changed that. Because no, I am I, I, telling you, I am telling you about uh, fifteen years ago. Yes, it could be staying the same, but I'm not sure because I I I not uh, in charge of that. So uh, ask and, and let me know <laughs> because <laughs> that's that's one of the things that I would like to change. Because if the East still has a roof. I will I will put I will ask to put the uh, roof higher in order to to take more from the people that earn more and in order to have a better health care for for all the people in, uh, in the country yes yes okay now have you answered this Questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's start with them. Then. But uh, verbally, orally. Okay. okay. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? No. No, I, teacher. You have you have never been. Mm, you have no. never been to a picnic at the beach. None of no. you. Ninguno de ustedes nunca han comido en la playa. Yes, but it's uh, for lunch and and for breakfast, but no picnic. Okay, then you you never have gone to the beach and bring your food and eat it at, at the sun with towels or things like that never yes because I, I i i have made some picnics and we also eat around um uh, how do you say a fire okay what was that fogata okay on fire uh-huh oh uh, at at night, but we bring the the sandwiches and the things from home. Okay, don't worry if you have problems with the connectivity, and it takes you out. You can you can get in as soon as you can. I have okay. been in, uh, at the beach and make a bonfire and then marshmallow with the bonfire. Oh, I never have eaten marshmallows uh, uh, in bonfire. No, never. No, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Really? Yes. I, I, I have I have drinking uh, hot chocolate 
with marshmallows. Ah, no, 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 But no. I never have a uh, toast them in the bonfire in the fire. It's very delicious. I had to taste that. Okay. Now, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have experience. Um, I ate Mexican food last month. Okay, what kind of Mexican food have you eaten? Um, and tacos. Okay, have you ever had uh, tortilla soup? Mm. No? Sopa de It, tortilla. Yes, yes, they they make uh, it with with a base of uh, chicken soup, and, and uh, but with a with a lot of tomato. It's like because it, it is reddish, and then they put uh, the tortillas, but they fry the tortillas, and they are like sli uh, slices or mm -hmm. julianas mm -hmm. of uh, tortillas. And mm -hmm. also avocado, avocado, and cheese. Exactly, cheese. Yes. Delicious. Yes. Avocado. In my case, uh, cut the avocado in cube. Uh huh. And the cheese in okay. cube. Good. Uh huh. The chicken, eh, por tiras, no, no recuerdo cómo dijo. <laughs> el, eh, eh, the... Julian's, Julian's. Ah, yes. Julian's, uh, Julian's. Uh -huh. chicken and the soap, the tortilla. Ah, in, in the last, pero yo ocupo las tortillas normales. Y las frío y las corto en, en cuadritos también. Cute the cube. Okay. Cute the cube. Nice. Well, uh, I remember the first time I have eaten Mexican food was for one of my birthdays. My father takes us to uh, Cam Camino Real Hotel and they, they had the one that they call Mexican night. And they serve the food around the pool. But I remember that I I couldn't take anything because I don't like hot uh, food. I mean, hot sauce and those things. O sea, no me gustan las cosas picantes. And even the fruit had hot sauce. So I, I, I couldn't eat anything. <laughs> me either. Because I don't like hot things. I hate the the pecans food. Yes, it, it uh, I I don't like it. Well, I I can't stand it. My stomach get hurts. Okay. Um, for example, I I also cannot take. Um, uh, if I take a uh, meat that they had put a uh, chemical things to make it soft, say, ablandador de carne. Uh, it also, I, I immediately feel it in my stomach and I, I, I can stand it. So if I can take a meat, that they uh, say it is a mature meat. That means that they put it in a kind of freezer, but it is not as cold as a freezer. It, it, it doesn't make the, the meat strong or, but it, it, it is colder than the refrigerator, but Uh, less cold than a freezer and they uh, put uh, the meat there in that in that temperature and that makes the meat get softer i can eat it like that 
or uh, now that I have my proposed uh, trees, I learned that if you get a, a green purple and you uh, blend it and put that that sauce uh, all, all over the, the meat and let it marinate it, then the, the meat gets softer, okay? With papa, o sea, con papaya, papaya verde. Even if the, when you cook the, the popo, it is not green, but uh, somehow orange is still good. But if the popo outside is green, you cut it and you blend it. And with that uh, mixture, you make the, the meat softer. Also with pineapple, but with pineapple, you have to be very careful because if you let it stay too long, then uh, the, the, the meat gets too soft and, and it uh, brings apart. O sea, si lo deja usted, la, la piña solo se deja como cinco o diez minutos. Si lo deja más tiempo, eh, se, se pone se tan suavecita que se deshace la carne. Ajá. Entonces, este, pero por eso me gusta más con papaya, porque pa la papaya puede dejarla hasta una o dos horas y no hay problema. Bueno. La papaya hace suave la carne. Sí, ah. pero entre más verde esté la papaya, mejor. Mm. O sea, que no esté madura. No esté madura. Uh -huh. Ajá. No, sino que es, eh, puede estar anaranjada por dentro, pero durita todavía. Que, af que afuera uh -huh. esté verde. Entonces, se pone a licuar eso. Le puede poner usted de un solo con todo lo que le echa a la papaya para, para ponerla para marinarlo marinar. de una vez. Ajá. Y entonces, este, y la deja marinando. Y después la, la, la cocina como usted la quiera cocinar y le queda bien suavecito. Ok. Oh, thank you for well, this. Nice. <laughs> I'm a good cook. <laughs> Have you ever visited Europe? Only in my dreams. <laughs> yes, no, my dream. no, I haven't. I agree with that. <laughs> well, my, my mother has gone to, to Europe and she loves it. But she went uh, during the winter time because the, the bill was uh, lower. For the winter time, the, the bill to visit Europe is lower because not all the people can- Nobody wants to go. With, with winter uh -huh, in Europe. But she was very happy because she was visiting all the places that she uh, knows about because she she uses to give uh, social studies as a teacher. So she, she talks about geography, she talks about history and all that. And she was visiting all the places she was talking to the uh, students. She loves that. Okay. Would you like to visit Europe? ¿A ustedes les gustaría visitar Europa? Yes, definitely. A mí me gustaría, pero no ahorita. <laughs> Muchos problemas hay ahorita por allá. <laughs> me gustaría cuando esté tranquilo. Bueno, pero ahorita está, que es un desastre. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Well, we, we talked about this yesterday, about the exotic food. And, uh, where do you think it is, there are more exotic food? ¿Dónde creen en el mundo? Japan. ¿Dónde creen que hay, que hay más comida exótica? I think China. China. Oh, in I, China. I think yeah, Chinese, Japan, yes. China, yes. China, and, Tokyo. Asian, Asian. Because not, not, not only Chinese, also Japanese and also Thailand and, and Philippines and all 
all that countries have very salty food. But I guess that also Indian. Could be. Uh huh, Indian. Because. <laughs> but Indian, Indian food, that their food is very spicy, though. Yes, very spicy. I guess that I, I, I couldn't stand it. They use a lot of, of curry. Okay, let's see the knowledge check. Okay, we have a listening. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, let's see. Has Katy ever eaten snails? Which is the right answer? Hello, hello? Yes, she has. She is no last week. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Carlos Mauricio, read number two, please. Uh, number two, what is Steve order? Okay, uh, Brenda Isabel. Um, no, la, la expresión. Eh, eh, what is Steve order? Eh, which of this is? Steve, Steve order different friends. Right, brains. Thank you. Okay. Now, Jonathan Aleman. The true or false? Okay, true or false. Uh, the simple past is uh, things that involves events that happens in the past and have been complete. Okay, true or false? Uh, true. No. Okay. Now, thank you. Jocelyn Natalia, number four, please. Michelle Beatriz, read number four, please. Michelle, on mute, please. No noise, okay. Leslie Natalie. Sorry, teacher. Oh, okay. Number four, uh, please. What is, what is a correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Okay, thank you very much. Lisbeth Martinez, which is the right answer? Is yes, I have. I went to Mexican restaurant last weekend. Okay, thank you very much. Now, 
Elisa Arely. Number five, please. What is the correct response to the question? Did you drink coffee this morning? Okay, Brian and Steve, which is the correct answer? Selma Yamilet? Okay, which is the correct answer? A, yes, I did. I have strong on my way to work. Okay, thank you very much. Let's check. Okay, all correct. You are very intelligent. Me, este, me di cuenta que hay algunos que no lo han contestado. Eh, tomen nota. Number one, has Katie ever eaten snails? Yes, she has. She ate snails last week. What did Steve order? Steve ordered the fried brains. Number three, the simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. True. What is a correct response to the question, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. I went to a Mexican restaurant last weekend. What is a correct response to the question, did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I have some on my way to work. Okay. Eh, fijémonos en algo muy importante. Para poder escoger más fácil eh, lo que son las respuestas correctas, usted fíjese que tiene que contestar de acuerdo a cómo le han preguntado. Si le preguntan con have you, usted tiene que contestar con yes, I have. Si le contestan, did you? Si le preguntan, did you? Usted va a contestar, yes, I did. ¿Verdad? Entonces, van a contestar de acuerdo al auxiliar que estén usando en la yes, no cuesta. ¿Ok? O también, la do, eh, en el caso de la WH question, eh, tienen que contestar según... Eh, también este, la información que le piden y también tienen que fijarse en qué tiempo se lo están preguntando. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. ¿Any doubts? ¿Alguna duda o consulta? ¿No? Ok. Estoy mostrando la clase 10. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Then comparisons with adjectives. Okay. Uh, somebody to help me with this thought, please. Me teacher reading. Okay. Your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the same. You can grow flowers or you can grow wet. When? Okay. Wet. Wet. Okay. Wet. Your, your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. So, yeah. Su mente es un jardín. Sus pensamientos son las semillas. Usted puede cultivar flores o puede cultivar eh, witches malayer. Usted decide si quiere flores o si quiere mala hierba en su mente. ¿De qué va a depender? de sus pensamientos, ¿verdad? 
Yo por eso siempre he dicho que procuro eh, tanto lo que es mi alma como mi mente mantenerlo lo más limpio posible. O sea, digamos, no dejo que los malos pensamientos o los malos sentimientos se queden mucho tiempo ahí. Exploto, porque sí, no soy ninguna santa. Pero exploto, digo lo que voy a decir y después me olvido de eso. ¿Verdad? Pero no me quedo con eso adentro. ¿Sí? Algunas veces es peor tragarse las cosas y quedarse con eso adentro. Yo creo que por eso es que la gente se enferma también de estarse tragando y tragando cosas negativas y nunca sacarlas. Yo prefiero sacarlas, explotar y después quedarme como que nada pasó. Y, si, es, y, y si me equivoco o si he actuado mal, pido perdón. O sea, yo no soy orgullosa de que, ay, no, yo no lo voy a pedir perdón, no. Si en algo yo me equivoco, si en algo yo, yo pido disculpas, ¿verdad? Pero eh, tampoco dejo que la gente se pase conmigo. Entonces, si, siento que uno tiene que aprender a vivir la vida. ¿verdad? Muchas veces por eso nos enfermamos porque no hemos aprendido a vivir la vida. And that's why I like to give advice. Me gusta dar consejos, ¿verdad? Dicen que no hay que dar consejos que no se les han pedido, pero algunas veces hay gente que no tiene eh, como la soltura de acercarse a uno y pedir un consejo, pero si uno siente en su corazón que algo hay que decir, se dice. Allá cada quien si toma el consejo o si no lo toma, ¿verdad? Pero no en balde, por eso uno ha vivido tanto tiempo. Ok. Here eh, we are talking about sequence adverbs. Ok. And for example, we can use them. Uh, the frequency, uh, the sequence adverbs, we can use them uh, uh, to follow steps or to follow, uh, uh, for example, a recipe or uh, when you are, uh, when you are reading uh, a booklet of some uh, new equipment. Uh, hay gente que no le gusta leer los manuales. Pero los manuales están por un motivo. Entonces, este, si usted no lee el manual antes de empezar a usar un equipo, usted lo puede arruinar. Aunque usted diga, ah, pero si esos equipos siempre los he usado. Sí, los ha usado, pero no los ha agarrado desde nuevos. Hay ciertos equipos que vienen con ciertas especificaciones de cosas que hay que hacer antes de comenzar a usarlos. Por ejemplo, yo hace poco compré una UPS. Normalmente las UPS solo uno viene, pum, las conecta y ya estuvo. Esa no. Esa venía con la batería invertida y tenía unos cosas. O sea, que si yo solo la hubiera conectado, nunca hubiera cargado o la hubiera arruinado. Porque la batería no venía como debía de ser. Por eso es bueno leer las indicaciones. Now. How to make a cup of tea. First, we boil some water. Next, serve the water in a cup. Then, put the tea bag in the water. After, add some sugar and milk. Finally, add a biscuit and enjoy it. My, uh, first and finally, tienen que ir siempre ahí. O sea, first va primero y finally va al final. Esas no se mueven. But next, then and after, they can change positions. For example, you can say first, then, then, after, next. Or you can say first, after, next, then. O sea, esos son intercambiables. Pero first, 
siempre va a ir primero y finally siempre va a ir por último. Ok. Now, uh, let's read this. Repeat after me. Sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. Are used to help describe a progression. Are used to help describe a progression. Of events. Of, of events. Of events. Often used in recipes or instructions. Often used in recipe or instruction sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs such as first. Sequence adverbs such as first. Then. Then. Next. Next. next after that. After that. And finally. And finally. Contain information about the order of actions. Contain information about the order of action. And create natural transitions in writing. And create natural transition in writing. In this lesson from English teacher Joe Sanz, in this lesson from English teacher, just your science. Practice describing recipes in English. Practice, Practice describing recipes in, in English. English. Using sequence adverbs. Using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes. This lesson includes. An English oral comprehension exercise. An English oral comprehension exercise. Okay. Now, adverbs. 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 Are words that are used in sentences? Are words that are you said in sentence sentences. to describe or change the meaning of a verb to describe or change the meaning of a verb to describe, to describe or, or change, change the meaning of a verb to describe or change to describe or to change describe or change the meaning of a verb the meaning of a verb adjective adjective or another adverb. Adjective or, or another adverb. O sea que vaya, los adjetivos, adjetivos, no adverbios, los adjetivos este, determinan el nombre, ¿verdad? Los adverbios describen o cambian el significado del verbo de un adjetivo o de otro adverbio. ¿verdad? Remember, there are different types of adverbs. Eh, y aquí están algunos, ¿verdad? Está adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverbs of degree, adverb of frequency, adverbs of comment, adverbs of conjunction and adverbs of confirmation and negation. O sea, estos son algunos de los diferentes tipos de adverbios que existen. Y ahí están algunos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Esto yo se los pongo por referencia general. Ok, pero los que vamos a ver ahora son los de sequence, ¿ok? Entonces aquí dice making a pizza. How many would you, of you like pizza? I love pizza. <laughs> Me too. The, the most important, the, one of the most important uh, things on a, on a pizza is not only the dough, but also the sauce, the tomato sauce. Okay, mm -hmm. as, most, as most of the, Italian food, okay, 
the important part is the tomato sauce because there are some there are some pizzas that maybe the dog is okay but they only open a can of tomato uh, tomato pasta take the tomatoes first and, and put it in the in the uh, over the the dough and without any other preparation and it doesn't taste as good as if you actually make the sauce you can use a tomato pasta o sea, puede ocupar eh, la pasta de tomate, but you need to add onion, eh, garlic, eh, green pepper, pepper green yeah. pepper, also eh, eh, the cheese, eh, eh, col, col, colander and cilantro, okay? And pineapple. And all the things that you need to, to add there. And blend it and cook it, okay? And your pizza will taste much better. Okay, another I, thing. I thought, I thought the pizza dog, uh, it was the more important when you make a, a pizza. But it, now, uh, uh, if later that hear you, uh, I think the, the best, uh, the most important is with the sauce. Yes, it, it, the dough is, 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 is important, but uh, the sauce is more important because it, it gives the taste mm. to, the, to the pizza, okay? And if you ever taste different types of pizza, notice that the one that they actually made the sauce tastes much better than the ones that just bring some things. For example, when I make pizza, another thing that I like to do is don't leave too much uh, edges. O sea, no me gusta dejar... Eh, Bordes. Lo, el borde Borde grueso. Sin, sin, sin nada. O sea, yo lo que hago es que yo le pongo todos los ingredientes hasta el borde. Porque si ustedes se fijan, cuando uno va a una pizzería, la mayoría de gente deja los bordes de las pizzas. Porque a nadie le gusta una pizza que no tenga nada. Entonces yo le pongo hasta el borde, ¿verdad? Salsa, queso y, y lo que le voy a poner. Entonces de mi pizza nadie deja nada. Uh, okay. Describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. Take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. And I have a question for you. Les, les gustaría presentar a ustedes diferentes tipos de, de recetas, así siguiendo los lo frequency adverbs. ¿Creen que mm. tienen tiempo de prepararla? Yes. If, for para, me, el para el viernes. Yes. For me, teacher, it's very easy because I professional in breath. In bre ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, um, and, um, and, and have you ever, have you ever used uh, sour yeah, dough? In bread, sweet oh. bread. No, y, y ha usado masa madre. Red, yes. Ah. Nice. Yes. Eh, masa salada, masa quebrada, masa dulce, repostería, postres, cakes. Nice. I, I, mm -hmm. I am preparing nowadays eh, eh, poleada. Ah, eh, yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Pero el pan de poleada. Yes. Uh -huh. And also apple pie. Yes. Pero eh, con, con la masa que es bien básica, es solamente... 
ma mantequilla, harina uh -huh. y agua bien helada. Sí. Ajá. Como pay. Sí. El pay. El apple yeah. pie. Ajá. Yeah. Y, y con esa misma masa también se puede hacer, ¿cómo se llama? El, el, el cheesecake. Yeah. Y, y también se puede hacer, el, ¿cómo se llama este? Se me olvidaba el nombre. Que es una comida, el, el quiche. El quiche. ¿Have you ever made quiche? Mm. Nunca. No, es Se cual... pone la masa así como que a, a sanapo, a, sa, a sapai, pero solo la parte de abajo. Ok. And then you take a cheese, a cream cheese, o sea. Uh, la Filadelfia. La, la Filadelfia, ¿verdad? La crema Filadelfia, cream cheese, and mix it with eggs. And also you can add whatever you want. If you want to give, uh, make it just with, with uh, vegetables, or you can add also uh, chicken or ham or whatever you want. And then it queda después como que fuera una, una pizza alta. ¿Verdad? Y entonces it, it, la, la base se pone a hornear unos cinco minutos a que quede un poquito tostadita. Y después le echa el mixture de lo que usted quiera y lo pone otro ratito en el horno. Queda bien bueno. Es el quiche. Ok. Now, making a pizza. Repeat after me. First. 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 first mix first. flour and water. Mix flour and water. Next. Next, Next, make the base of the pizza. Make the base of the pizza. Of the pizza. Then, uh, then, then, cut ham and green pepper into slices. Cut ham and, and green pepper into slices. After that, pour the ham and green pepper on the base. After that, ham and green pepper on the base. Finally, put the pizza in the oven and bake it for 20 minutes. Finally, errar esta pizza. No le pusieron ni queso ni le pusieron salsa. Esa pizza no me la comería. Así es la pizza real italiana. Ajá, sí, tengo entendido. Sí. Bueno, es que yo no sé si ustedes sabían, pero a pesar de que la base de muchas comidas italianas es, es el tomate, realmente el tomate ellos lo tuvieron hasta que descubrieron América. O sea que en Europa no existía el tomate antes de que descubrieran América. O sea, el tomate es americano. O sea que toda la comida eh, europea mejoró con el descubrimiento de América. Ok. Uh, this is an audio transcription. Ok. Do you want to follow the reading and then you will uh, repeat it after me and then we will take turns reading it uh, primero se lo voy a leer todo van siguiendo la lectura después lo vamos a repetir y después vamos a leer eh, tomando turnos pero vamos a decir quién sigue después de nosotros, ¿ok? First, everybody pay, uh, follow the reading. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Then, heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels 
and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently and for a few seconds, in about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. ¿Qué creen que estaba describiendo aquí? ¿Qué creen que estaba describiendo aquí? ¿Qué estaban haciendo? Un mm. pan con... No. Eh, eh, ahí donde dice pan, eh, eso significa eh, el fry pan es este, la, como la cazueleja. Ah, eh, y popping. Yes. popping. Kernels son este, unas semillitas amarillas, casi anaranjadas. No hay día. Están ah, definiendo popcorn, cómo popcorn, se hace popcorn. Popcorn. popcorn, popcorn. Ajá. Excelente. Now, I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, chop. Half a tomato and half an onion, and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add, add it. Put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. Esto es como que fuera este... Como un guacamol. Guacamol. Uh -huh. Guacamol. Now. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half. Then, toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. ¿Qué creen que está describiendo aquí? It's a sandwich. Um, Podría bagel. ser, pero es más que todo lo que le llaman bagels. Bagels. Una baguette. Ajá, no, bagels. Son bagels. así como, como, como redonditos, pero eh, tienen una su, su forma como que fueran croissant, pero no son croissant, porque el croissant es con, con, con aquellas que son, que son varias capas. Esto es como un pan más o menos común, pero se parte a la mitad y se pone a tostar. Y después le echan crema. Cream cheese. O sea, la crema filadelfia. Ok. Entonces, estas son las, algunas de las recetas. Y ustedes descubrieron que era cada uno. Ok. Now. Eh, Repitámosla todo. Y después, este, como aquí casi no hay puntos... Ustedes van a decidir dónde se van a detener y van a, a mencionar a alguien más a la hora de, de, de leerlo, ¿ok? Pero ahorita lo vamos a hacer toditos, todo, y después vamos a empezar uno por uno, ¿ok? Mencionando al que va a continuar después de usted. Por eso todos tienen que seguir la lectura, porque donde se quede la persona, Sigue el siguiente, eh, sigue al que ella menciona o él, ¿ok? Now, repeat after me. This is really easy. This is really, This easy. Is really, really easy. easy. Really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan. First, you put a little oil in a pan. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Then, heat the oil. 
Then, then we eat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. Next, then, put in the kernel and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, when the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently. Shake the, the pan gently. And for a few seconds. And for a few seconds. In about a minute. The pumping will slowly stop. The pumping will slowly stop. After that. After that. After turn that. off the heat. Oh. And pour it into a bowl. And pour it into a bowl. And pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it. Finally, put a little salt on it. Enjoy. And enjoy. And enjoy. And enjoy. And enjoy. Ve, este, eh, vamos a empezar con este. Porque si las leemos todas, después se nos va a olvidar cómo se pronunciaban estas. ¿Ok? Entonces vamos a ir una por una. Eh, Jonathan Alemán, you first. Tal vez no puedo. Nelson Rodimiro. Tampoco. Brenda Adriana. Se me han ido mis alumnos. Yo cuarto. Uh -huh. Volunteers. Me <laughs> teacher. Okay, okay, go ahead. You first. Okay, this is really easy first. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Recuerde que usted va a decidir hasta dónde llega y después va a mencionar quién va a seguir después de usted. No, porque yo todo lo voy a leer. Ah, lo voy a leer todo. Vaya, pues, usted va a dejar a los demás sin leer. No, este, les, le, le doy a, a Carlos Mauricio. Ok, Carlos Mauricio. Ya, siga. Ah, uh, no. Or, sí. or what? <laughs> I didn't follow her. Uh, where, where did, ya did no, you finish? Ya, ya no dimos cuenta. <laughs> you lose. No, she, lost. She, said, I, she said I will read everything. So. Ajá. Le, le, eso se llama zancadilla. <laughs> Bromeando estaba. Okay. Uh, I start from the beginning or, or what? No, de donde se quedó ella. Ella se quedó oil in a pan. In the first comma. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently. And for a few seconds, in about a minute, uh, the popping will slowly stop. Continue, Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay. After that, turn off the heat and pour into pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Okay. Para ustedes, así está bien o o o o le hace algo algo más falta aquí a a, a estos popcorn. La mantequilla. Mantequilla, exacto. Yo no puedo comer. Yo no puedo, yo no puedo comer. Más sal iba a decir alguien por ahí. Ahí me fascina con mantequilla. Ok. Now, eh, acuérdense quiénes fueron los que leyeron y quién fue el que se quedó hasta el final. Eh, cuando terminemos de repetir esto, el que se quedó hasta el final va a decidir quién va a comenzar con este, ¿ok? Pero hasta que terminemos de leer. Así, así no, está, no está lista la persona, sino que tiene que estar 
books, okay? Now, I love this snack. I love this snack. First, take an avocado. First, take oh, an avocado. And mash it. And, and mash, mash it. And mash it. Next, permítanme que me hizo falta algo aquí. And, and mash it. Okay. Permítanme. Next, chop half a tomato. Next, chop half a tomato. And half an onion. And half an onion. And add them to the avocado. And, 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 and after that, after that, you shop uh, a little cilantro, you shop a little cilantro, and add a red, add a red, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt. Finally, add a little salt. Pepper. Pepper. And of course, hot sauce. And of course, hot sauce. Mm, it's great with chips. Ok, eh, vaya, el que se quedó por último decide quién va a empezar hoy. Carla Melisa. Ok, Carla. Ok. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it next. Uh, um, el siguiente sería, permítame. Brian Steve Rodas. Brian Steve Rodas. Thank you. Ok. Shop uh, half at negro and half a nonio and at then to the avocado. Uh, after that, uh, continúa. No, ahí es decisión suya. Usted, usted tiene que decidir hasta dónde llega y quién va después de usted. <laughs> ok, after that, uh, you shop a little cemento and add, add it. Um, next, Daniela Magali. Ok. Magali. He put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, salt. Mm, like green chip. Ok, thank you. Vale, entonces usted acuérdese que es la que va a decidir quién va a empezar el siguiente, ¿ok? Now, repeat after me, everybody. A friend from New York City. A friend from New York City. Talk me how to make this. Talk me how to make this. First, put it in half. Put it in half. Then toss it. Then toss it. it. After that, let it cool a little. After, After that, that, let it cool a little. And then spread cream cheese mm -hmm. on it. And, and then, then spread cream cheese, on, spread cream cheese on, it. on it. It's really good for breakfast. 
it's really good for breakfast. But you can eat it anytime. But you can eat it anytime. But este, acuérdense, preciosos, que este, vamos a hacer, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Lo de las recetas. Cada uno va a escoger una receta. Eh, en el WhatsApp, ponga qué receta va a hacer para que nadie repita la misma receta. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ustedes ahí en, en el chat del WhatsApp, pone cuál es la receta que usted va a hacer. Solo pone el, el, como el título. ¿Verdad? O sea, digamos que si va a hacer Apple Pie, pone Apple Pie. Y ya así. Y si ustedes quieren hacer una, una, ¿cómo se llama? Así, un PPT o algo para presentar su receta, lo hace y, y me lo envía para yo poderlo presentar. Porque creo que, eh, no sé si ustedes pueden eh, presentarlo desde de, de, de su lugar, pero yo lo puedo presentar. O sea, ustedes me lo mandan y yo lo pongo cuando, para que ustedes lo lean, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sería para el viernes. Acuérdense que vamos desde ayer hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? Si creen que para viernes es muy luego, este, lo podemos dejar para otro día, ustedes decidan. Entonces, yo continúo dando las clases, qué sé yo, de, de la próxima semana para que tengamos tiempo la próxima semana para que ustedes hagan su receta. Nos ponemos Mejor de acuerdo en el, en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Porque sí me gustaría que presentaran eh, la receta y siguiendo así las frequency address. ¿verdad? First, then, after that, next, y, y final. ¿verdad? O sea, okay, que sería teacher. paso a paso, Ticha. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Paso a paso. Este, eh, de preferencia, aquí, si se fijan en este, no están los ingredientes. Pero de preferencia, ustedes sí háganlo con los ingredientes, ¿verdad? Y el procedimiento, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí nos vamos a ir haciendo de, de, de ¿cómo se llama? De recetas para, para poder eh, eh, incrementar nuestro bagaje de, de, de comida. <risa> de comida o de panes o de lo que sea, ¿verdad? Porque es, es interesante. Es interesante. Cuando usted menos sienta, va a necesitar saber cocinar aunque sea algo. ¿Ok? Now, see you tomorrow. Ustedes me dicen en el WhatsApp si está bien para el viernes o los que estén listos para el viernes, ¿verdad? Y este, see you tomorrow. Bye, see bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. Take care. Bye. Tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Dice que vamos Good hasta tomorrow. el viernes, así que mañana no es último día. <laughs> bye bye. Take care.